Have you ever wondered how one of the world's most iconic fizzy drinks is made? Coca-Cola isn't just a beverage. It's a global symbol consumed by billions of people across the planet every single day. It all started in 1886, when an Atlanta pharmacist named John Pemberton created a unique syrup as a remedy for headaches. He could never have imagined that his experimental formula would one day become a legend. A few years later, the recipe was acquired by entrepreneur Asa Candler, who transformed it into a powerful brand empire. Today, the original formula is locked away in a special vault with biometric scanners and a steel door at the World of Coca-Cola Museum. Sure, the label says water, sugar, coloring, caffeine, but one line always sparks curiosity, natural flavors. What hides behind that phrase is known to only two people in the world. They are the sole keepers of the exact composition of formula number. Seven, the very formula that defines Coca-Cola's unmistakable taste. The core of the drink is the syrup concentrate. It's produced in secrecy and delivered to factories in sealed containers. Every sip of Coca-Cola begins with this base. Before the syrup is mixed with other ingredients, something crucial happens at the factory. Water preparation. Water makes up 90% of the beverage, but ordinary water won't do. At the plant, it undergoes a multi-stage purification process, from mechanical filtering to nanofiltration. Then, it's treated with ultraviolet light to eliminate any remaining microorganisms. This isn't just water. It's a perfectly controlled medium, verified by dozens of sensors and automated analyzers. Once the water is ready, the actual creation of the drink begins. The concentrate is poured into massive tanks and diluted with water in precisely calculated proportions, down to the milliliter. Then, sweeteners are added to the mixture. For classic Coke, it's high fructose corn syrup. For zero and diet versions, aspartame or AC sulfame K is used. Everything is blended thoroughly in giant reservoirs under the control of an automated system. Even the slightest deviation and the entire batch is discarded. After blending, it's time for the magic that makes Coke fizzy. Pressurized carbon dioxide dash CO2 dash is added to the mix. This process is called carbonation. It happens inside special machines known as carbonators. Pressure, temperature, and gas volume are precisely monitored by computer systems. It's not just bubbles, it's physics working to perfect the taste. Without the correct level of carbonation, the drink would feel flat. This is the very moment when that familiar psst sound is born. The one you hear when opening a bottle. While the beverage is being made, the automated line is busy with another task, preparing the bottles. Plastic bottles arrive at the factory in the form of preforms and are expanded with hot air into their final shape. After that, they are thoroughly rinsed. Machines flip each bottle upside down and rinse them with filtered, pressurized water. Only after this step are they placed upright on the conveyor again. Next comes the labeling. A high-speed system applies Coca-Cola's iconic red and white label with perfect precision. There's no room for error. Once everything is ready, the bottling process begins. The mix of syrup, water, sweeteners, and gas flows into the filling lines. The beverage's temperature is tightly controlled between zero and plus three degrees Celsius to prevent excessive foaming. The machine fills each bottle with millimeter accuracy. Then the caps are delivered through a pneumatic tube and shoot onto the bottles under high pressure, sealing them instantly. A special capping module checks the torque. If a cap isn't tight enough, the bottle is rejected. At this point, it may look like the process is complete, but quality control is one final and crucial barrier. Scanners, cameras, and lasers inspect each bottle. Is it cracked? Is the label aligned? Is the fill level correct? Is the cap damaged? But automation isn't enough. 
human inspection still plays a key role. In every department, trained staff perform random checks, tasting, smelling, and even visually assessing batches for consistency. After filling and capping, each bottle undergoes a final inspection. This is a crucial step, the last chance to catch even the tiniest defect. Machines scan the liquid level, cap tightness, and bottle condition. If even one parameter is off, the bottle is removed from the line. Staff manually inspect random samples, opening them, tasting, and logging results into a digital system. These checks are performed hourly, all to ensure that what reaches the customer is a flawless product. Once the drink is ready and approved, it's time to package it. Automated lines group bottles into packs of six or 12, wrap them in heat shrink film, and pass them through a special oven. The film shrinks tightly around the bottles, providing protection from moisture, dust, and damage during transport. Then the bottles are placed into cardboard boxes, which are formed on site. Sheets of cardboard are fed from rolls, cut to size, and folded by machines around the bottles like a 3D puzzle. And what about cans? Their journey is similar, but much faster. The canning line can process up to 2,000 cans per minute. After filling and airtight sealing, the cans are cooled and sent to the packaging station. They are grouped into compact blocks of six or 12, called packs, then wrapped in shrink film as well. This process moves at lightning speed, requiring perfect synchronization to avoid jams or disruptions. Now the packed bottles and cans need to be sent to the warehouse. And this is where the magic of logistics begins. Automated conveyors move the products to sorting zones. Robotic arms, like mechanical conductors, lift, rotate, and stack them onto pallets. The system already knows which batch is going where. Everything is calculated in advance, by region, by store, by quantity. The pallets are then shrink-wrapped again for stability and sent to the staging area. Hundreds of pallets are shipped out daily. Large trucks pull up to the loading docks, and pallets are automatically loaded into trailers. Each truck is equipped with GPS and temperature monitoring systems. Even at this stage, maintaining the drink's integrity is a priority. Logistics routes are built with mathematical precision. Some factories ship directly to major retailers, others go through distribution centers. Every stage of production is governed by strict sanitation rules. Entry into production zones is allowed only in special uniforms. Each employee must disinfect hands, shoes, and clothing. Some areas are sterile, accessible only through airlock chambers. Equipment is washed with special solutions after every shift. All surfaces are tested for bacteria. If anything doesn't meet the standard, production halts. Quality and safety come before profit. Today, Coca-Cola factories are actively adopting eco-friendly solutions. Water that has been used is not just disposed of, it's returned to the environment cleaner than it was before. Factories save electricity using solar panels and energy-efficient motors. Plastic is recycled. More and more bottles are made from recycled materials. The company's goal is to create a closed loop system where every bottle becomes a new one. There are also ongoing experiments with biodegradable packaging and alternative energy sources. Despite high levels of automation, a Coca-Cola factory is, above all, about people. Engineers, operators, chemists, logisticians, and IT specialists. Each person is responsible for their part, but everything functions as a single, unified organism. Modern technology supports human work. AI systems predict malfunctions, drones monitor inventory, and digital panels visualize the entire production flow in real time. But still, the greatest value lies in the attention and professionalism of each employee. 
After dozens of steps, the drink finally arrives at stores, cafes, restaurants, and vending machines. You grab a can from the fridge, open it, and hear that signature, psst. Behind that sound are thousands of people, miles of piping, miles of logistics routes, and millions of decisions made every single day. Coca-Cola is not just a flavor, it's scale, technology, and tradition, built over more than a century. Now that you know how Coca-Cola is made, from water to packaging, your next sip will feel different. Because behind it lies real engineering, world-class logistics, and a little bit of magic. So next time you open a bottle, remember the journey it made to get to your hands. And maybe, just maybe, you'll see Coca-Cola in a whole new light.